Hello, my name is Chris, and today I will review the 2017 Chevrolet Malibu Hybrid. I hope, as always, that you'll find this review useful and interesting. Looking at it from the exterior, the lines are just right. Particularly attractive is the rear three quarters, which I think looks awesome with its coupish good looks. The previous Malibu did not look bad, but this one is almost Mazda 6 level. In person, you have to see it to believe it. Being a hybrid, you don't lose too much trunk space and GM does a good job with the folding rear seats making this much more livable. Rear seat room is not going to win any awards, a price I can easily, easily pay for given its sexy sloping rear seat pillar. Leg room is fine and headroom will be limited for those over 6 feet. Convenient power ports and vents complete the rear quarters. The doors are cheap feeling, made with low-end plastics no vault-like feel. In fact, the general quality and design of the interior is slightly less than average, a classic GM weakness. It must be said, this is much improved over the last generation, which felt more like a box of plastic. In this interior, there seems to be an obsession with tech. I'm not sure all mid-sized buyers are software developers, and I do not think regular people care that much about tech. I'm quite sure given the choice, they would have taken better seats and an increased long-term reliability instead of a 4G hotspot. Price is one of the car's main draws. The base hybrid goes for $29,000. That's pretty good for the hybrid with the best chassis. Speaking of chassis, it seems almost like overnight, GM became the world's best chassis company. The model I am testing comes in at $36,000 with a leather and convenience package. Although its rivals feel more substantial in build, the Accord and Sonata hybrids certainly feel like boats compared to Malibu. How does GM make a suspension that is so forgiving over bumpy roads yet feels so taut? It is a mystery to me, my mind is blown. Oh, and it's quiet in here too on the highway, which is nice since the sound of the Bose sound system is so clear. Accidents will create a balloon-like environment as Malibu comes with 10 standard airbags. Although the numbers are low, this engine makes sufficient power at 124 horsepower and 129 pound-feet of torque, and then the electric engine adds power when needed. After looking for a long time on the complicated Chevrolet website, fuel economy stands at 4.8 liters in the city and 5.5 on the highway. We did see some fours in the city. Information on the transmission is non-existent, but it's a smooth operator. The gas only, I believe, is six-speed. Sorry, no drive this week as the audio crapped out. However, if the audio had worked, I would have told you that the vehicle is recommendable with an overachieving chassis, powertrain, looks, and price, while the interior quality and design leaves a bit to be desired. 